Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm Jessica Alexandria of Bahati Life. Thank you so much for tuning in. This is the reading for October for all Scorpios. So Scorpio Sun, Scorpio Moon, and Scorpio Rising. First, Scorpios, I wanna apologize for the clarity of this video. For some reason, my memory drive in my camera doesn't wanna work, so I have to kind of like switch them out as far as what I'm filming on, if I'm filming on my camera or if I'm filming on my phone. And you guys are my chosen phone group. So my apologies. I have a few cards that are, I've pulled for you guys. This reading is gonna be fully intuitive. I have not seen them. This, These are they. So I'm going to pull them out and let's go ahead and get started for what we see and what is in store for you for the month of October. So the first one, Scorpio, is slow and steady. And then we have cat. It's time to strike out on your own and relinquish your over-dependency on others. Then we have the mystery. Then we have twin flame. Then we have your home is protected by angels. Truth and integrity. For some reason, I wanna put that next to slow and steady. Then we have Mother Mary expect a miracle. I wanna put that next to slow and steady. We have create space for new love. I wanna put that next to the mystery. Then we have true offering. May I release the fears, illusions, and addictions that keep me from true offering. May I relax into your plan, trusting that the next steps will always be shown. Use me, love, use me for the highest. I am yours alone. I wanna put that next to the twin flame. Then we have unrequited love. And then we have queen of swords and seven of wands. So right away, it's interesting to me because I'm feeling, I don't wanna say conflicting information. Now, as an intuitive reader, sometimes what I logically know and what I understand from my own experiences, from my own experience and what I would tell my friends from my own experience is not what the angels would tell me, would not, they would not guide me to, to say that. And it kind of makes me stop in my tracks because I'm like, it's a learning experience for me because I, if I'm being called and guided to say something, it might actually be the opposite of what I would say to a friend or a family mem member. And as I'm doing your reading for you Scorpios, I am definitely feeling that right now for you. I feel like what I would say to someone is not what spirit is telling me to say. So keep your mind open and I'm gonna keep my mind open as well. This is how these true messages start coming through. This is a part of my own gifts of, as a reader, as an intuitive and working with my guides for so long, I've learned to trust them. So that's the big thing that I'm seeing for you guys for the month of October is truth and trust. Queen of Swords, when I'm seeing this card, it's about um, boundaries. This, these are the words that are coming through to my in my head right now, intuitively to me. It's about boundaries, it's about discernment and discretion are two words that are coming through. Emphasis on the word discretion. Why discretion? I'm not sure. Maybe that's something that will come through a little later on in the reading. It's funny because I don't wanna guide you and tell you to do the wrong thing because this is a general reading and that's never my intention is to tell someone to do something that is not for their highest and greatest good. But I feel like in this reading, you are really being called right now to before you react, before you speak your truth, before you lash out or cross anyone out or cancel anyone out, especially Scorpios, you've got that sting with you, which I love. I think that when we say, when the word true offering comes through, the, the real offering that you need to give to yourself is actually space and time and as I'm saying this reading, the music just started getting really loud and really aggressive in the background. It's like, it's like you're, everything is building up, everything is building up, everything is building up, and you are ready to, you know, you know, it's, it's month of October, so it's like, you know, I'm ready to lay this to rest. This is dead, this is done. The thing is, is that you have your truth, everyone has their truth. And sometimes you can't see why things are the way that they are. You cannot see why the universe, the divine, has you aligned with certain people and why those people are in your life. If something comes to a, a spot in your life where it is disrespectful, it is um, destructive to you, then the truth is, A, 
and to, for you to be um, honest with yourself, and forgive me for stumbling all over my words, but I'm trying to find the right way to say this, but sometimes in order for you to have um, self-respect and for you to keep the integrity of yourself and the, your, to protect your self-value, there needs to definitely be space and distance. I feel like as I'm looking at this Mother Mary card, there's all of these angels who are watching and observing. It's like when I see this, and then I'm also seeing this card here of all these angels watching and observing. And then we see unrequited love. We have all these people watching and observing. Everybody has their opinions in. Meanwhile, this has been you. No one knows your truth. No one knows how certain things have compromised how you feel about yourself and you know what you've been able to do or You've almost, I don't, for some of you guys, maybe you've been in a space where you're not being treated with integrity or people are not respecting or valuing you. Or maybe you're in a position where you have needs. So you are just kind of like, you know, like on, like look at, look at, look at all of these cards. It's like everyone's watching and waiting to see what it is that you're going to do. Or you need, you have this connection that you need people for things. And it's almost like you're a leech. That's kind of like how it feels. And meanwhile, it feels like you might be have a leech on you because that's always how energy is so it's like there's two sides to this that I'm seeing for my Scorpios is if something is putting you in a space where your integrity and your personal strength is compromised and at risk then that's something that needs to be there needs to be distance there there needs to be separation but I also think that if you are needing people that it's slow and steady things need to unfold, like unfold and unveil themselves for you as you're creating new space for new things, new new people, new opportunities, new this new life that it is that you're coming into. There is a lot, I can't ignore how crowded and defensive I feel Scorpios are and have maybe been feeling. Maybe for the month of October, this is an energy that you've been working with or maybe this is an energy that you're working out of. But I don't see that this is something that happens almost overnight I feel like even though we have this expect a miracle card it's I am really thinking more about slow and steady and the mystery of it like how are things going to work out how is this going to manifest well you are being protected your your stability your security your who you are the truth of who you are is being protected and held by angels not only do you have angels and guides around you surrounding you but you also have a lot of people around you. But I also think that there's some people who don't need to be in your, not they, they don't need to be in your space. Now, the other message that I want to share with you guys is, um, is that before you cancel things out, before you cut things out, I think the the offering that you need to give yourself and others is time to prove themselves, time to um, trust that they are going to do the right thing to give them the space to make that call for themselves when they fail or if they succeed then reward them or punish them in the way that they deserve but I think that you need to stay in a space of you know what it there's again there's some things that aren't going to be made known to you right away you're not going to understand why people are in your life or why you are where you you are why things are the way that they are um when i'm seeing the seven of wands i see i hear challenges you this is someone who is facing god or facing divine or facing someone and very boldly saying like you have challenged me and you have pushed me past my breaking point you have pushed me to a the, the point that i wonder can this ever you know the past the point of no return that is what you have done why and the, the answer, let's say if you're saying this to a person, they are going to be so intimidated by it. They're going to be so shook by, the, they're going to be so shook by the truth of your forwardness and your direction, like your directedness. That's probably not a word. I just made it into a word. But they're going to be so impacted by that that they are not going to have an answer. And that blade of truth, in that moment, you can impale them with the blade of truth or impale them with words that they may rightfully deserve to hear. You may call them, you know, they're, they're at your, you know, disposal almost. But you, at the same time, I feel like there's a need there too. Like you really wanted something from them or you really needed something from them. Like you might need their support. You might need their love. 
Sometimes it's hard for us to admit that, especially with this card, the cat card of independence. But you might feel like you're over-dependent on someone or you feel like, again, there's like all of these things are like, are you serious? Like, I don't want to be in this position right now. Why am I here? Again, it's not for you to understand everything. That is what makes it a miracle is, you know, certain people, certain things in lining in our lives and it always comes out of a challenge. But what I'm seeing is how dare you? Like, why put me in this position? Why put me in this place right now? You know how I feel, you know what's going on with me. And I do feel like I need to strike out. I do feel like I need to push back because I'm feeling vulnerable. I'm feeling exposed. I feel turned inside out. And when you challenge that person, you're not going to get a response back. It's going to be quiet, it's gonna be silent, but you need to give space for them to pick up the pieces, for them to gain understanding, for them to rise up. Now, if you are challenging God, the, the divine, and challenging your angels, challenging your ancestors, you are also gonna be met with silence throughout the month of October, or you have been, and that is because it's not that they don't have an answer for you, it's because the answer right now is not for you to know right now. It is everything for you to observe the challenge and to be challenged by the challenge because it's going to show you truths of yourself. It's going to show you your own strength, show you aspects of yourself that you did not know even existed. You're gonna be so annoyed by this or you were so annoyed by this, but it's literally, instead of rushing past this and expecting this aspect of your life, or this thing that has been bothering you to be so easy breezy, this is, you know what, I am going to slow my pace down. I am not going to come in and impale anyone or impale myself or impale God or impale the universe. I am going to release my fear. I'm gonna release my addiction. I'm gonna release my illusion that everything is going to be great. Everything is gonna be peachy keen. That, or that I'm gonna understand why things are the way that they are. It doesn't matter how intuitive it, intuitive you are, it doesn't matter how um, discerning you are, there is always going to be a moment in your life or there will be a moment within your life, within the journey where it is truly a mystery to you. No matter how intuitive you are, no matter how much faith you have, no matter how much you can give answers to others, there's so, there at some point in your life, there is gonna be a, part, a, a point in your journey where you are not going to have the answer. You're not going to know. And the, sometimes the more that you call out, the more that it, you're gonna be met <clears throat> with silence. The more that you're gonna be met with, no, you need to be vulnerable right now. You need to feel kind of exposed. And again, this is for your own independence. This is for your own well-being, for your own good. It's interesting too, because when I see the card of twin flame and create space for new love, when I see twin flame, this twin flame, it's okay, I'm gonna keep my eyes on the ugly. Like, I'm gonna keep my eyes on this thing that doesn't make sense to me. Why? Because for me, the swan showed up in my personal life and my personal journey along my journey. When I was in the void space, it was all a mystery. I kept calling out to spirit, I kept calling out to the divine, my ancestors, what's gonna happen next? What do you need me to do? And they kept, they, when they did show me signs, it was about the transformation. It was about the unknown. It was about being in that space and seeing it for what it is and not needing to understand any more, any less than what it is that I already knew. And with the and a part of that journey, I saw the swan show up twice for me. And when I spent, spent time with it, it was like, look, this journey within our lives is not meant to be beautiful and graceful all the time. In fact, there are gonna be moments where you feel totally ugly, totally exposed, totally vulnerable, totally um, torn apart, like a bird going through a hurricane. How are you not gonna to be touched by that? How are you not gonna be unfazed by that? Your feathers are gonna be all messed up, but that quiet space is about you putting each feather back in to place so that you can fly again and be strong again. You don't even know that you are developing forces within yourself and an understanding of yourself that you never would have had if you didn't go through that challenge. But, um, and you're not alone in it. Like even as I'm seeing this, I feel like your prayers and have faith that your prayers have been heard and are being answered. You sitting in silence right now is not, or you sitting in the struggle, the challenge is not because you are not loved. It's not because it's not reciprocated. It will come to you, but the right thing needs to come to you. And when I see twin flame, I see you keeping your eyes on the ugly and, and, exp and finding a way to see the beauty in that and allowing it to transform so that even the things that you think even the thing that you think is the, the most ugly is the one thing that will be transformed into the most beautiful thing. 
but not compromising your integrity, not compromising your truth, not compromising what it is that you need for yourself. It's slow and it's steady that it will develop. The other thing that I'm seeing is that whether this twin flame represents your life partner, this other, this counter partner that you're gonna be um, attracting into your life or that you will be receiving within your life, um, whether it's a person or whether it's the right match for you, it's going to, when I see unrequited, it is, the truth of this is, is that certain people right now do not match your energy or maybe you don't match their energy. So it's going to be unrequited. It's going to be a no. Because the truth is, and if we are allowing ourselves to, if we're, if we're being honest with others, we need to be honest with ourselves, that sometimes there is growth that needs to happen within ourselves. Um, to strengthen ourselves so that we can match the vibration of what is what is that we're wishing to achieve and that is the truth um, the other thing is that um, if this is truly the case don't see this as a negative thing see it as again this is the truth this is how you're being challenged right now you need to rise up in the month of October and make some changes within yourself so that um, and make some growth changes make some some steps, take some steps towards becoming this higher version of yourself. That is a part of the miracle. But you have to see it first because when we see twin flame, it's what impacts this person impacts the other. We are both on the same journey even though we can't see each other all the time. Maybe we can see each other. Maybe there's a misunderstanding. Maybe we're not seeing things from both perspectives. But either way, we got a match. So for the month of October, Scorpios, I'm seeing you stepping into this truth. I'm seeing that the more that you step into this truth and the more that you step into a space where you're being um, honest with yourself and that you're not compromising your, your, your purpose, your path, and the universe will tell you, the universe will tell you when you've compromised yourself by telling you, no, that is not for you. No, this is not us rejecting you. It's us rejecting this. This is not for you. That is the true offering. This is about trusting, this is about listening, this is about observing, this is about waiting to hear so that you know. And then I'm seeing creating new space, creating new space, new love, new the, new, the path unfolds, that is going to be the miracle. And this could be the home environment. You guys might have been relying on other people with the home environment, it says your home is protected by angels. If it's not the home, then this is where you belong. Where do I belong? Ask yourself, did you ask yourself, where do I belong? Who do I belong to? Whose heart is mine? What job is for me? What is my purpose? Where is my destiny? Where is my path leading me to? All of it can be a mystery, but you're gonna find out in the month of October. You're gonna find out. And it's gonna come in the ways that you may seem, it feels like it's unrequited. It may feel like, how could you not choose me? How could you not want me? How could this be a no? Why is the universe telling me no along this path? Well, because you're not meant to walk down that path. Trust and believe. Now, when I'm seeing the card independence, the cat, it's time to strike out on your own or relinquish your over-dependency on others. The Queen of Swords knows all about that. She knows all about integrity. She knows all about truth. She knows all about being honest. She doesn't need to rely on anyone or anything because of the same challenges that made her harden her, which I don't see them happening for you. I hope it's not hardening you. But the same things that hardened her, hardened her and made her you know, resistant and resilient were the same, like, were challenges that she was like, I don't know how I'm going to live through this. I don't know why this isn't, you know, this feels like a slash to me. It feels like a, you know, a, a mark against me. And it's just like, no, all you need to do sometimes is to slow your roll, to slow down and to observe and to hold your own, hold your own because something is happening here. And I can't ignore the fact, again, I'm wondering what this means for you, Scorpios, where you have these, all of these eyes on you, all of these guys, all of these people around you. And like each one of them, it's like you're so vulnerable. You're so laid bare. This one, she's like, oh my God, don't look at me. And this angel's like, I'm naked too. It's like, I don't care about you and your feelings. I care about my feelings right now. This is a lot of me being exposed right now. I feel very vulnerable. And then unrequited, it's like, She's getting kissed by this person and all these people are watching. What is she going to do? What is she going to do? And they're like, their input doesn't matter. It's like, none of this matters. All these people are like, what is, 
What is Mother Mary going to do? What is she going to do with the child, this innocent child, this new beginning, this new love? It's none of your business. This is for me to do for myself. And the Queen of Swords is the first one to say, it's none of your business. This is for me. But again, don't do it by impaling anyone because realize that it's not all about, you know, destroying things as your as aspects of yourself or being transformed. Sometimes slow and steady does win the race. And the true offering is to give yourself space and to give others space so that things can kind of fall together. And not operating on your fear, not operating on how could you, not operating on anger, but operating or illusion, operating from a space of love and integrity. Okay, so that's what I'm seeing from my, oh wait, let me pull an additional card for you guys. The ocean. Yeah, be beautiful, mysterious, wild, and free. And the first thing that came through for me with these cards is the word vast. There's so many unlimited potentials. There's so much opportunity, but you don't see it all right away. You know that there's other lands out there, but from where you're standing on the shore, you can't see all that land. But at some point you will when you start to move, when things start to move forward, but slow, slow, slow. We're not rushing that process. So that's what it is that I'm seeing, Scorpios, for you, your message for the month of October. Thank you so much for watching and sharing these videos with your friends. Um, make sure that you're subscribed to this YouTube channel because there's plenty more videos where this came from, and I'll see you in my next one. Bye.